chair. Big idea, uh, pushing and pulling and uh, sending me flying. I might have done myself a mischief. Oh, I'm really sorry. Oh, <laughs> not to worry. <laughs> Pockets. Pardon? Pockets. What about them? Well, uh, no, 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 it's my name, Pockets. <laughs> you see, I have rather a lot of them. <laughs> so, Professor Patrick Pockets, pleased to meet you. Debbie. Debbie? Oh, yes, of course, you look like a Debbie. I always say that names are a dead giveaway. Now, take you, for example. You're a Debbie, and you look like a Debbie. Now, if you had told me that you were, a, say, an Arthur or a Percival, you wouldn't have expected me to believe you, would you? Of course not. I'm a girl. Exactly. It's scientific, utterly scientific. Now, just hold this bucket, will you? Give me that. I'll try and explain to you what I mean. Now, you take this telescope, for example. No, no, I don't mean actually take it. <laughs> this is a, a thoroughly uh, scientific tool. With this uh, scientific apparatus, I can scan the skies to my heart's content. Oh, do look at that. Utter, utter enchantment. Oh, look, look. You have a look. <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Do you study the stars? Oh, indeed, yes. Ever since I was knee-high to a telescope, I've been utterly starstruck. And uh, now look over here. The moon. The moon, yes. One of my favourite places of all. Of course, I've never been there, unfortunately. I don't suppose I ever will. What's that shining on the moon, Professor? There's something glittering. No, 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 there can't be. You've got that wrong. There is. Take a look for yourself. Oh, oh by Jupiter, you're right. There is something there. Shining, sparkling, twinkling. I had never seen that before. What on earth could it be, do you imagine? Come along. Where are we going? Into the old potting shed. I've got a bigger and better telescope there. We'll soon get to the bottom of this unidentified flashing object. <laughs> world today. A cup of tea, I think, tea shirt. Ooh, Miss Cleverclog's nose is truly out of joint this time. Did you see the smile evaporate from her furious little face when I threw her precious silver seven into the sea? Ah! Oh, I wish I could have that moment to keep. It was priceless. Where's that tea? Oh, do snap out of this sulk, T-shirt. It's getting on my nerves. Hmm. Thank you. Let's see what my stars have to say. You will shed no tears at the departure of an old enemy. Deborah? However, someone very close could let you down. Well, that's nothing new. A shocking day in store. Take care lest you get your fingers burned. What a load of old rubbish. It's not very clear. Oh, uh, you have to twiddle that a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the silver number eight! What? That's what's shining on the moon! The silver number eight! The very thing I have to lay my hands on! What on earth for? It's a long story. I've got to find a whole load of silver numbers. It's the only way to be teabag. Teabag, oh yes. You see, teabag's trying to stop me. Oh, she, oh dear. Oh. When I find the silver numbers, we've got to put them back on Hickory's clock. Hickory's clock? Oh, I see. Why? Oh, well, we're not exactly sure, but it's very important. Oh. oh, how on earth am I going to get to the moon? Ah, that's a question I've asked myself a thousand times. There's no answer, I'm afraid. It's quite impossible. Oh, no. And I've been doing so well, too. Look. Oh, I see. Oh, <laughs> Ah! What's the matter? Why, you've been moping around here in a huff all day long. Your smart Alec chum has gone and got herself the Silver Seven back. How did she do that? You threw it in the sea. Well, I don't know, do I? But I'd better do something about it. What, the... what was that? 
probably a mouse. Not to worry. I've got plenty of mouse traps. <laughs> in your pockets? Oh, I've got everything in my pockets. Sometimes even a mouse. <laughs> Pretty big mouse make that noise. Could be a rat. Oh, fear not. Pretty ingenious little scientific devices, these. <laughs> You were right. It is a rat. A rat by the name of Teabag. Oh, Professor, will you help me? Oh, well, uh, yes. Uh, uh... Go out, and if she asks about me, tell her you haven't seen me. Oh, I'm not very good at that sort of thing, distorting the facts. It's highly unscientific. Please. Oh, very well. Ah, uh, good evening. Good evening. Oh, you do? Do what? Look like a tea bag. What? Oh, it's names, you know. I'm fascinated by names. And you do look like a bag. <laughs> I knew a bag once. A kit bag. Nice girl. Cut out the small talk. You know full well why I'm here. I want to know the whereabouts of a certain little creature who answers to the name of Debbie. A little girl about so high. Yes. Uh, yellow dress, uh, red hair, blue eyes, freckly face, uh, gold bag. Yes, yes, yes. Never seen her. Oh, you dare to lead me up the garden path. Where's that girl? She's not here. Who says? She does. Oh, she does. When did she say that? Oh, just now in the shed. Oh, just now in the shed. Oh, really? Oh. <laughs> Anyone at home? Mm. Little pig, little pig, let me come in or I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. Little piggy. Oh, I am sorry. Never mind, it was worth a try. So, you managed to get the silver seven. How enterprising. And I'll get the eight, I'll get all of them, and then you'll be sorry. Not if I can stop you first. You can't stop me, can you? You haven't stopped me yet. But I will. Ta, <laughs> that'll be the day. There's absolutely nothing you can do. Except, of course. Except what? Nothing. I was just thinking. What? It's a bit silly, really. Tell me! Oh, no, no, this part's are ridiculous. Tell me! Well, I was thinking the only way you could really, really, truly stop me would be to banish me. Banish me somewhere far away, even off the face of the earth. Somewhere even like the moon. <laughs> what a simply splendid thought. <laughs> But of course I know that's impossible. Nothing's impossible. It's brilliant. I'm glad I thought of it. You don't mean... Yes. Now I'll get you out of my hair once and for all. No! Oh, I say once and for all. You Princess, oh. run! <laughs> fools, fools! There's no escape. To the moon with you! This is ridiculous. I'm a grown man. Uh, running and hiding in sheds at my age? Besides, that woman was trespassing in my garden. I think I shall go and give her a piece of my mind. Oh, uh, Professor? No, look here, madam. I do think it's a bit... Uh... Oh. The, the, the moon. The moon, yes, I know. The moon. I took tea bag into saintiness here. I can't believe it. This is a dream. Pinch me. Go on, pinch me. Ouch! <laughs> oh, Pachingo, it's not a dream, it's real. We're on the moon. Fantastic, fabulous. What a singularly unique opportunity to explore the lunar love of my life. Yes, and I can come with you to find myself a number eight. Uh, not so fast, not so fast. We must proceed with caution. Walk on eggshells. We've no idea what dangers wait us out there. But, but no, I must. No argument, please. Leave this to me. You stay put and I won't be long. But, but my silver number! Ah, I'll keep my eyes peeled. Don't you worry. Oh, by Jenga, this is so exciting. So exciting. One small step for man. Be careful. Into the unknown we go. You sent her where? You heard the moon. It's <laughs> hysterical, don't you think? But how's she going to get back uh, from there? She isn't. That's the beauty of it, T-shirt. We need never clap eyes on her smug little face again. Oh, what an inspired notion it was. I can't understand why I didn't think of it sooner. Uh, uh. Ugh. Ever since 
clever clogs put in an appearance, I got more and more wrinkled with worry. Just look at my eyes. I need rest. I need rest. <laughs> Fascinating, intriguing, mind boggling. <laughs> what was that? Oh, glory be, what do I see? That's exactly what Debbie wants to get hold of. Oh, she will be pleased. Sticks. I've lost him. Oh, I wish the professor would come back. It's gone so long. bags under the eyes, no more crow's feet, not a wrinkle in sight. I'll be as fresh as a daisy, skin as smooth as a peach. They'll all be bowled over by my good looks. Isn't that so, T-shirt? <laughs> of course it is. Come on, let's go. I can't. Why not? I haven't found the silver number yet and I can't go without the professor. Professor? Look, I'll explain later. But where is he? Oh, I don't know. He went off on his own somewhere. We'll have to go and find him then. We haven't much time. All right. You know, it's great to see you again. And you too. Come on. Oh. There you are. <laughs> Hello, hello. What's all this? I told you to stay in the shed. And who's this? She's my friend, T-shirt. Oh, how do you do? We're running out of time. We need to find the silver number eight, and fast. Ah, but I think I've already found it. Yeah. <laughs> you see, it's on the end of his little binoculars. Oh, but, yeah. oh, but he won't let me come near him. I know how to attract it. Do you? Music. Oh. It seems to love music. Oh, well, let's see. Music makes the moon go round and everyone enjoys the sound of music so I've gone and found music makes the moon go Well, T-shirt, all I can say is my horoscope couldn't have been further from the truth. Getting my fingers burned. Somebody close will let you down. Utter tripe, isn't it, T-shirt? <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> oh, you are a friendly little thing, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, of course. Now, my little hooting friend, I would like very much you give to me that little silver thingamy. Uh, uh, round neck, mm. you see? Mm. <laughs> what did he say? Oh, I, I'm not at all sure, but I think uh, he wants to do a swap. Mm. Yes, your hammer. Ah, mm. yes. Oh, that's right. Mm. Well, now, uh, you give me this, mm. and I will give you that. I think 
he's happy. He's over the moon. <laughs> <laughs> well, all that remains is for me to give you this. Oh, oh, it's absolutely jammed. Not to worry, I've got plenty of tools in the shed. We'll soon get it prized off. OK. It's utterly disgusting, wouldn't you say so, T-shirt? Hmm? How much longer is this huff going to go on? Speak up. Muffins and meringues, where is he? Wouldn't you just know it? The little monster is up there with those troublemakers. Oh, this is too much! The silver number eight! Yeah, what a vile place. I love that little hooter. He was a real hoot. Yes, yes, I knew a hooter once. Well, well, well. What a gleesome threesome we have here. Tea, Tea bag. bag. Hello, my dears. I'm in your debt, madam. Thank you so much for leading me to the silver number eight. I believe you have what I'm after. Do I? You know you do. It's in your pocket. Don't give it to her. Oh, no, I won't. In that case, I shall simply have to take it. Oh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> Serves you right. Caught like a rat in a trap, Tea Bag. Run, run. Come on, Debbie. <laughs> Hold on to your hats. <laughs> uh, we're home, sweet home. <laughs> Thanks again for this. <laughs> Not at all. And thank you, too. It was nothing. Oh, well, we better be off now. Are you coming with me? Yes, why not? Great. Sorry we have to go now. Not to worry. I've had the adventure of a lifetime. <coughs> What's that? <coughs> oh, Hooter. <coughs> oh, welcome, my old chum. <coughs> this is an unexpected pleasure. <coughs> now, then. Bye. Bye. Not to talk about. Take this, for example. This is a telescope. This is where I came in. I wonder what old baggy pants will have to say about all this. Let's go. Where you came from. Wait till I get my hands on those villainous children. I'll de <gasps> They'll pay for this. They will. Oh, a cup of tea, a cup of tea, a cup of tea. 